Hey what's up guys in this video I am going to show you how can you add your own meta boxes in wordpress pages or any post type. So let's start what is meta box. So in the wordpress I have a post type product. So let's see what is meta box. In this page as you can see product categories, product tags, product image and product short description. So these are meta boxes. So how can you add your own meta box by code? Here is a code add meta box. This function is used to add meta boxes in your WordPress. So first find out the code that we are going to use and then I will explain you about the code. So here is a meta box code. I'm going to copy this first. I'm going to paste it in my plugin file. You can also change the function's name, but I am not going to change it. So here I am. First of all, we have an ID. As you can see, we have first ID. This is the meta box ID. I am going to change the ID name. For example, I am writing there teacher. Teacher is. Then we have a meta box name. I mean title. I am going to also, also I am going to change it. Teacher, teacher name after all we have a callback function that we are going to use just copy the other code of the callback and paste it in your plugin you can change the name of the callback also paste it there and then we have a screen for example so this is the screen I mean URL either you can use post type name or you can use URL of the WordPress so I am going to use post type name so after that we have a advanced content I mean position of the meta box either we want to show it there or we can show it there so I am going to use side by writing this I will see it there after that we have a priority so priority is also position like a way for example you want to show it upside or you want to show it downside so I am going to give it default priority it will adjust itself so I am going to save the code and I will refresh the page So as you can see a meta box is created by name teacher name it is blank because we do not add any functionality in the callback so in the next step I am going to add it for example I am going to add an input field I am going to search it So there is a field, I am going to copy it. After that I am going to change their names.
save it and go to the WordPress refresh the page so as you can see a field is created first name so I am going to get the value if it is saved first of all I am going to use get post meta so first of all I am going to show you something so I am going to print this post because we are going to use their ID in the post it is an object so I am going to call it like object after that we need a meta key name we need a condition if so what does that mean if if the value is not empty then it will insert the value in the teacher variable otherwise it will insert the value empty then I have to show the value there by concatenation if there is a value it will show there by this check otherwise it will show empty so I am going to comment this and refresh so if the post is already saved with the value then it will show there otherwise it will show empty so after that we have to save the post I am going to use left code so there is a saving post code so in this section we are already getting a id of the post so this hook is used for saving post it will trigger whenever a post save in this field we are going to save meta by update post meta we need a post id there and and a key then we need a variable we are going to add a check there if array key exist in the post if this key exists in the post then it will save otherwise nothing so we need a key if this key exists then it will save the meta otherwise do nothing so I am going to refresh it so I am going to publish the product by the giving it a title So as you can see it is giving us array because update post meta sometime save it by array so 
in the get post meta we are going to call the first index so as you can see this is mongo far is showing so in this meta box we have created a meta box meta box id title callback function then where we are going to show the meta box is it post type or any page link and the other side we have a callback functionality there in this functionality we have a input field to get the data from the user and after that we are going to save the data for the user